just a reminder that this video is equipped with chapters. So feel free to jump to or skip to chapters that you want to watch. Alright. This video is the first Ribby trivia video that is sponsored in a monetary sense. Even so, rest assured that all the views and insights that is being shared in this video are my own. We are talking about UPDF tool today. An economical, efficient, and swift PDF editor that you can use across desktop, mobile, and cloud platforms, and like any modern devices and tools these days, it is equipped with AI goodness. UPDF is created by SuperA Software Technology, which is a startup company founded last 2021, developing PDF converter and editor software. As the UPDF website has no information about the founder and headquarters, I did some research and found that the headquarters of SuperAce Technology is showing to be in Shanghai, China, and it was founded by three persons named Peng Lan, Craig Craig, and Luca Wong, with Peng Lan serving as the CEO. Take this with a grain of salt though, as this is not verified. Okay. To start using UPDF, just search for it or directly go to their site, updf.com, which is very easy enough to remember. From their site, you will need to register an account. As usual, I just log in using my Google account. And by clicking your profile icon in the top right corner, you should see your account details, including the names, membership type and other. From the products menu, you will see the list of different versions of UPDF for different platform, along with the online AI assistant. In most part of this video, we will explore UPDF in Windows, as I am using a Windows-based laptop. Let's click on this, which will take us to the download page of its installer. And you know the drill. Open the exe file, then go through the installation process. This whole process took 27 seconds for me. Let's get started now. We will need to allow some permissions. And here we go. We are now in the very simple UI of UPDF. The first thing that we need to do here is login. Let's just use the same user that we registered in their site earlier. For me it's Google. It will log you into the site, which will connect to the app, and you're in. Just like in the site, clicking on your account icon here will show your plan, which we are currently on a free one. Alright. Let's now explore the UI and functions of the UPDF app. In the drop-down menu, we have the normal items for any apps. In the preferences, you can set the appearance between dark, lighter system, and some toggles for basic tools. Then we have settings for commenting, measurements, the UI views, plugins, and the software updates. On the left side tab, we have the recent files and favorites are start. Then the UPDF Cloud, which gives users on a free version a 1 gig storage, with 10 MB size limit for each document size. So, even though your maximum limit is 1 gig, uploading a file like this 12 megabyte one is not allowed, as each file should only be 10 MB or less. Upload speed is also a bit slow. This will probably improve for a paid user. We also have the PDF tool, which reminds me of the I love PDF tool, as most of the functions here are also available in that tool. Although I think UPDF has a lot more options here, from organizing your PDF files, editing, creation, exporting, optimizing, and protection. But one thing that is in I love PDF and not here is the unlock PDF function. Which to be honest, I'm not so sure if legal or not. So I guess it's okay that it's not here. And lastly on these left-hand side menu, we have the batch PDF functions, which are basically the same as the PDF tools, but done in batch of PDFs. To see all of the PDF-centric functions, we of course need to open a PDF file. Here we go. Just like Acrobat Reader or any other PDF editor, we have this familiar UI for reading and browsing through the PDF file. And off the bat, I think it is impressive that UPDF lets you select any alphanumeric characters here, even if it is in the picture. Since you can select them, you can definitely copy them. When a PDF is open, we will have a toolbar appear in the right side of the screen. The first tool here is for OCR. On first use, you will need to download a plugin for it. Downloading takes only 10 seconds. Unfortunately, OCR function is only available for paid users. So we'll just come back to this later in the video after I have received the temporary license that UPDF is providing me. Next in the right hand toolbar is the conversion functions. You can convert your PDF to nine different formats that includes MS Word, MS PowerPoint, Excel, a CSV file, rich text, a simple text file, an image, an XML, and an HTML file. I tried all of the formats and they are flawless. Even the links of the table of content items to a certain page is intact. Of course, if you are converting a paragraph into an Excel file, results might be weird since the data does not match. But even the HTML file produced is good. This is the best PDF conversion tool that I've used. Then we have the password encryption function here, as well as sharing, and lastly the save tool. Moving on to the left hand toolbar, we have different tools here that lets you edit the PDF as easy as a Word file. The first tool here is for comment. 
And I think the name of this tool is a comment does not give it justice, as you can do a lot, and I mean a lot of things here, like AI features which we will explore later. Just like in MS Word, you can easily highlight text here. And more than MS Word, you can even select any shade of colors here. You can also easily do a strike through, underline, and a squiggly line to any text. And again, set all of them to any shades of color. You can also add notes on a selected text and customize it to seven different colors. Just like in Word, hovering to that text will reveal the note. And of course you can copy the highlighted text and also add bookmark to it. Next to the comment, we have the Edit PDF tool. And this is also very cool. From the top toolbar you can select what part of the PDF you want to edit. If you select text in the toolbar for editing, you can edit any existing text, just like in MS Word, which is pretty amazing. And you can also add any new text anywhere. If you select image from the toolbar, you can then add new image or edit existing images in the PDF file. For link, you can add links to either the page within the PDF file, or to an external website. We then have prepare form function, which is basically the same as the fill and sign function in Adobe Acrobat. Since everyone is practically familiar with that already, I'll not go into details of this one anymore. Next, we have the reduction tool. As the name implies, this is basically used to block out parts of text within the PDF file. Then we have the Organize Pages, which lets you rearrange the pages of the whole PDF document. Just drag and drop the pages that you want to rearrange. Next is Crop Pages, which lets you resize a certain page within the document. And lastly, we have the Page Tools that lets you add watermark, background and header or footer in a page. Just click the Add button in the right side to add. And from here you can add update the text of the watermark, set the size, opacity or transparency, set the tiled watermark, change position, and the orientation of the watermark. Aside from a text watermark, you can also use an image or a PDF. When you select background in the top toolbar, you can set the background color of the page. And you can select basically any color shade as a page background. You can also set an image or another PDF file as a background. For header and footer, just like in MS Word, you can add a header or footer in one page, and then will be applied to all the pages. You can then adjust the margins to set the position of the header and footer. And just a note, when you are on a free plan, when you save all your changes, UPDF will add UPDF logo watermark on all the pages of the whole document. It's not a great look since if you are creating a formal PDF document, a watermark makes the document basically unusable. So you should consider investing on the tool if you want to enjoy all of these great functionalities. One other good thing about the UPDF tool is its cross-platform offers. For a paid account, you are allowed to up to four devices on any platform. Android, Windows, Mac OS or iOS, any platform for four devices. Just like what I am showing here. I am installing UPDF on my Android phone. I just need to log into the same account, and I can freely access all the files I have uploaded on my cloud, and basically have all the same functionalities within my phone. As you can see here, all the changes that we've saved from the PDF file earlier are here. And although the UI is a bit different, all the same tools are here. Going back to the comment section, there's a lot of other use cases that can be done in the UPDF app. For example, there is a measurement option here, with default units you can set in in the preference area. By using this tool, you can easily measure drawings within your PDF file. This will be great for architectural drawings for example. Measure blueprints, a floor area of a house plan, measure depth, width, height of certain objects in a picture, just like what I am doing now, and those kinds of stuffs. In the UPDF fashion, all measurement data here are of course customizable. You can change the colors, the labels, how it looks, and more. With all of the other tools here at your disposal, there's a lot of other areas and industry that UPDF will be very useful. With the text boxes, text callouts, pencils and erasers, adding shapes, stickers and stamps, you can easily annotate and create an education materials for kids and students. In the banking industry, you can use the compress and archive tools for confidential files as PDFA, fortifying them with signatures and passwords for enhanced security, and use the OCR PDFs to convert into editable text. In legal, you can develop and assess legally binding contracts, policies, governance documents, and compliance materials. For manufacturing, you can facilitate business operations by e-signing, invoicing, and crafting engineering plans, streamlining processes and boosting productivity. In the healthcare industry, you can efficiently sign medical records, consent forms, and other healthcare documents, saving time and ensuring secure transactions. For insurance, you can effectively manage, edit, and sign contracts and agreements, simplifying the documentation process. And I'm sure you can think many other use cases for UPDF and its rich set of tools. I've mentioned OCR, or optical character recognition earlier. Let me show you how it works. 
Do note though that OCR feature of UPDF is only available on a paid plan. And UPDF has granted me a temporary paid plan to demo this. For the demo, I wrote something in a piece of paper, then scanned it. The pen I used is red, and the paper texture is not a plain white. The paper is a dirty gray texture, which will make it tougher for the UPDF to recognize the characters. And my handwriting does not help neither. Here is the scanned handwritten piece of paper. Let's click the OCR icon from the right hand toolbar. You have two options here for OCR. Image only or searchable PDF. I'll choose searchable PDF as that produced actual text data. Let's click perform OCR, then save it into another file name. This one piece of paper took 10 seconds to process. So expect longer time when there's more pages involved. The new file will automatically open in UPDF. There we go. It's not perfect. There were few letters that were missed here and there. But remember, we used a handwritten document here, written on the red ink on a dirty gray piece of paper. So considering the source, this result is actually pretty impressive. I tried using OCR on a scanned printed document, and it is basically perfect. And besides, since you can edit a PDF file like a Word file in UPDF, it is very easy to correct any discrepancies in the OCR result. Personally, I am really impressed with UPDF's OCR text recognition which you can use for scanned documents, images, and images within the documents. This AI-powered OCR makes scanned PDF or documents into an editable file very easily. Also under in this comment section, when you highlight a text, you will notice this UPDF AI dropdown from the pop-up toolbar. From here you can perform, right then and there, awesome AI functions like translate the highlighted text into 27 different languages. You can also let the AI summarize the selected text, and I think the summarization is on point. And if you don't fully understand part of the PDF file, you can let the AI explain it to you. Really awesome. To take this AI awesomeness further, you can visit ai.updf.com and log into your UPDF account. From here you can see the AI items we've performed earlier in the UI. We can also see the PDF file that we uploaded to the cloud earlier, which when we open, UPDF AI will start reading the whole file and understand its contents. Once the PDF file is loaded, the AI will automatically give you a summary of the whole PDF file. If you don't need the whole summary, you can just click the stop button at the lower right corner of the screen. We are now presented with a prompt here. From this prompt you can ask the UPDF AI with anything about the currently loaded PDF. For example here, I ask how I can connect the camera to a smartphone, and there we go. It understands the context of your question and gives you a summarized explanation answer to your question, and it is very accurate. By using this feature, you can save a lot of time searching for something within the PDF file. It's like having an assistant that will do the dirty work for you. And it is really fast. When we compare this to other AI tool, like Copilot for example here, I notice that the answer are very similar. But since Copilot relies on what is in the web, which the UPDF is directly accessing the knowledge from the PDF file itself, the answer that you will get from the UPDF AI is more complete and usually has more detailed information than what you can get from Copilot. For me, this AI feature of UPDF is impressively very matured enough, and it is very useful. It can read thousands of pages of documents in a few seconds, then summarize it. If it's a foreign language document, it can read it and translate it into your language. You can ask it about the document's content, and even have it explain the content to you. I am beyond amazed with this AI feature. And wait, there's more. UPDF AI can also generate mind map from documents. A mind map is a graphical diagram representing words or concepts linked on a central subject. It can turn a long list of information into an organized diagram. And it works amazingly here in UPDF. And you can also use UPDF AI chat with images. Chatting with image and PDF to mind map are now available on both Windows and Mac OS platforms. I mean, what more AI features can you ask for? Alright. I think it's very obvious what my verdict for the UPDF is. Sorry I love PDF, I think I love UPDF more now. UPDF has an elegant and minimalist UI, sporting a youthful, aesthetically pleasing, and streamlined minimal UI design. It is cost-effective, with pricing at only 12% of the cost of Acrobat, and aside from the forced UPDF logo watermark, the free version is useful enough. It has a cross-platform support. Accessible on Windows, Mac, iOS, and Android devices. It also gives you a simultaneous device availability with a single account purchase, enabling up to four devices to be online at the same time. UPDF also promises a responsive customer service with its 24-6 customer service and a regular product updates. But I think what separates UPDF among the rest are two things. 
First is its comprehensive array of features that enables PDF annotation, editing, conversion, OCR, protection, form filling, signing, summarization, translation, and explanations. And second is of course the awesome AI prowess of the UPDF. Utilizing the power of AI to process PDFs, summarizing, explaining, translating, and conversational consumption of content will make everyone's life a lot easier. With this, I highly recommend UPDF for everyone. Try it now. If you enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up. If it has helped you in any way, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Nilasuj for watching. No but air.